Today I am going to start the chapter linear equation in two variables. Pair of linear equation two variables. I know a x plus b bar plus c plus b. This is called general linear equation in two variables. Where a, b, and c are constant. This one is general linear equation. into variable. Jazz the linear equation into variable at m bar. Here, a, b, and c are constants. a, b, and c are constants. That means they are real numbers. That means constant are real numbers here. Real numbers are taken, and uh, x and y are variables. These are variables. If there is only one linear equation in two variables, then there are infinite number of solutions. So uh, you have learned in class nine that. Uh, A linear equation in two variables has infinite number of solutions. Suppose you have a linear equation two x plus three y for two y. This one is linear equation because you can change it at two x plus three y minus two y equal to zero. This implies two x plus three y minus two y equal to zero. On comparing the two, you get a equal to two, b equal to three, and c equal to minus two. A, b, c all are real numbers here. That's why this one is also a linear equation in two variables. If you solve this equation, then you get infinite number of solutions. Plus three y equal to two y. This is two x solution. If you solve this, two x plus three y equal to two y. Three y equal two y minus two x. Therefore, y equal two y minus two x whole divided by three. Now, on putting the different values of x, you We will get different value of y. When x equal to zero, then y equal to two y to minus two into zero divided by three. That is four. Two y minus zero is one. Two y minus three is four. When x equal to suppose three, then y. You have to add. Denominator the first value of uh, x, so that you will get the integer value of y again. As x equal to zero, you have got integer value of y that is uh, four. If you add denominator to the first value of uh, x, for which y is an integer, you will get another integer. Therefore, on putting x equal to zero plus three, that is three, y equal to y minus two into three divided by three, y minus six by three, y minus six by three, six by three, that is two. Similarly, if you add again three to the second value of y, six, then y equal to y minus Two into six by three, that is twelve minus twelve by three is zero. Now similarly, you can get several values on putting the multiple uh, x value of x. Anything you can put uh, not only the multiple of three or zero, but 
and you can take any value of x. Suppose if you if you put x to the one, then you will get one minus two into one by three. That is ten by three. Ten by three also will be one. On putting x equal to one, if x equal to one, then y equal to one minus two into one by three. Although this one not gives you the integral value, but uh, this is also a solution. Ten by three. If x equal to one, x equal to one, y equal to ten by three. Similarly, take x equal to two, then y is equal to eight by three. There are many solutions. By putting the different value of values of x, you can get the different values, corresponding values of y. That's why there are infinite number of solutions. If there is only one linear equation. In two variables, but if there are a pair of linear equations in two variables, then there are three possibilities. Either the both have no solutions, or the both equations have unique solutions, unique solution, or the both equations have infinite number of solutions. There are two types of systems: consistent and inconsistent. Now, we take pair of linear equations. A1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to zero, and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to zero. Suppose there are two linear equations in two variables. A one x plus b one y plus c one equals zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two equals zero. Now there are two types of systems. Systems of equations. System of pair of linear equations. In the pair of equations, there are many two types of systems. One is consistent systems, consistent system, and other one is inconsistent. System. Consistent systems are those systems. For which we can calculate the values of x and y. That is, uh, if there is a solution or there are solutions of a pair of linear equations, then the system is said to be consistent system. There are two types of consistent system. One is independent, independent consistent system. Consistent, independent, consistent system, and the second one is dependent, dependent, consistent system. In consistent system, the system of uh, both solution. Are possible are known as consistent system, and uh, there are two types of solutions. One is the unique solution, and second infinite number of solution. Depending on the unique solution or the infinite number of solution, there are two types of consistent systems. One is independent consistent system, and the second one is dependent consistent system. If there is a unique solution. Then the system is said to be independent, consistent system. And if there are infinite number of solutions, then the system is said to be dependent, consistent system. But in the case of inconsistent system, there is no solution, and there is no type of independent systems. Only there are two different.
different types of consistent system one independent other independent now there are conditions for independent consistent systems systems means uh, the pair of equations for which we have either have a solution or have a solution now consistent system now there are conditions the first consistent system the system of equation whose solution is possible now If there are two equations, suppose a1 x then b1 x plus c1 equal to zero, and a2 x plus b2 x plus c2 equal to zero, let this and this are two linear equations. Two linear equations in two variables. In two variables. Now, if a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two, if the ratio of the x coefficients and the corresponding ratio of y coefficients of the two equations are not equal, then the system of equation is independent consistent then the system of the equation that is the pair of the equation system of equations is independent consistent Sometimes it is only we can say consistent. If we are consistent, it means independent consistent. But if the system is dependent consistent, then we must write consistent, dependent consistent. But uh, if we write only consistent system, it means uh, it is the independent system. Now, if a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two. That the system of equations is independent, consistent, and there is a unique solution. There is a unique solution.
the coordinates of the point of intersection part of intersection is uh, gives the solution of the equation the solution of the equation axis indicates the value of x and ordinate indicates the value of y abscissa is the value of x from both equation and ordinate and ordinate gives you ordinate of the point of intersection
system. There is no any solution of an inconsistent system. And uh, there is a condition that even the A2, if there are two linear cases in two variables, like A1 acts for B1 bar plus C1 equal to 0, and A2 acts for B2 bar plus C2 equal to 0, and A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2, but not equal to C1 by C2. The ratio of X and Y option taken in a, in a order are the same, but the ratio of the corresponding constants are not the same. Then the system of equation is inconsistent and there is no any solution. If this condition holds good, then there is no any solution. If A1 by A2 is equal to 0 by 2 not equal to C1 by A2, then the system of equation is inconsistent. Then the system of equation is inconsistent. Then the system of equation is inconsistent and there is no any solution. There is no any solution. No any solution. The graph of this inconsistent system equation are parallelized. The graph of the equations, in this case, graph of the equations, a in this equation in inconsistent system, inconsistent system are two parallel lines, two parallel lines, and then they never intersect each other. If there is no any point of intersection between the two lines, then the lines are said to be parallel. Since the lines obtained in the case are parallel lines, therefore there is no any point of intersection, and that's why there is no any common solution of the both equations. There are now I will give you some example of the consistent system and inconsistent system. Two x plus four y plus six equal to zero. Three x plus five y plus seven equal to zero. Suppose there are two equations, two linear equations in two variables. Two x plus four y plus six equal to zero. Three x plus five y plus seven equal to zero. Here, a one is two, b one is four, and c one six. A two 3, B2, 5, C2, 7. Now, if you obtain value of A1 by A2, then you have 2 by 3. A1 by A2, 2 by 3. B1 by B2, 4 by 5. Here you see both are not equal. A1 by A2 is 2 by 3 and B1 by B2 is 4 by 5. Therefore, A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by A2. Therefore, A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. Hence, the system of equation is independent, consistent, and there is a unique solution. Hence, the system of equation, because the condition A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by A2, holds good in this case. Hence, the system of equation. The system of equations is independent consistent or simply written as consistent 
or consistent. Look at that consistent object. And here the, there is a unique solution. There is a unique solution. Now, second case is the other example. If you 
draw the graph of the equation, then you will get two parallel lines. The graph of the two equations will indicate parallel lines. Okay? Draw the actual. Okay.